like even is this like hot i don't know but this is amazing i can't <laughs> i am still just beside myself because this, this is awesome this is so cool i want like i'm ready to do this this is this my is great. favorite Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dark, and I am here with the lovely Bella. Hello! Welcome to Heat 101. Today we have a sauce that I'm very excited to try. This Thank is you. from Mo Mountain. And look what he has sent us. You guys. We have our very first collector's piece that has been sent to us. This is a hand-dipped, resin-dipped bottle. That's so close. With a coffin that is made by our good friend on Facebook, Jim Bell. You know, when I first saw him making coffins for sauces like this, I messaged him and I talked to him about about having a, a life-size one made it as a joke and he was ready. He was ready like, to I take want a dimensions. With, right. With I, like like hot pink and sparkles and I mean <laughs> to each their own. Hey. But I uh I knew someday that I would get one of them, and here it is. It's I mean, so it, pretty. Let me hold finally, it. it's it's very well made. God, it's gorgeous. Has a velvet inside. Okay, my question and is: Does he hand paint these? Yeah, he does everything. He hand paints these. He hand makes them. Puts all of these little touches and these. Puts them all together, on. glues in. Does his thing. I mean, it's awesome. It's it's so cool. It's so cool. You guys are gonna see this behind Ooh. us on this set for many years to come because oh, yeah. I treasure this piece. Don't drop it. Take it from me. What is it? This is Mo Mountain's hot lava. Ooh. Very excited to get into this one. Me too. We've had it for a little bit now. We had we do things kind of in our own little order, but I wanna it's it's come time we've been wanting to do this one and it's really cool because the hand dip is this hot lava in here too yeah that's the same one so, so we don't have like, to open it to okay. review it so but it looks like hot lava like the way that the wax is melted on there very cool uh i, I think it's resin it's is like it a, it's like an epoxy I'm resin afraid to touch yeah it. don't I'm not touch, gonna it. touch it because it's gonna fall touch my coffin it's our it's coffin, our coffin. <laughs> i'm sorry mm -hmm. all okay. right so good looking consistency on that um looks yeah it's it's a darker it's rich an brown color a like little a bit different color of a sauce so i'm excited yeah but it, it has the fleck in it almost like a taco sauce Ooh. do you see that yeah so i'm not sure what to expect i feel like when we get sauces like these it's like jam-packed with flavor you know what i mean because look at all of the spices and the secret. yeah I, I don't know i have no idea what to expect i don't know the heat either <laughs> Let's read on the side of the bottle here. Okay. Gluten-free ingredients are water, apple cider vinegar, tomato sauce, tomato puree, waterless, less than 2% of, what does it say waterless? I'm confused. What? It says waterless. Okay. Look, it says waterless on there. See, just take my word for it. Um, less than 2% of citric acid, spice, and natural flavor, smoked ghost chili powder. Chili powder, salt, cumin, cocoa, uh, cocoa powder. Ooh, that's where it gets that color. Garlic powder, lemons, garlic, xanthan gum. Manufactured for Mo Mountain Heat Ink. Nice. Okay, in New wait. Jersey. <laughs> Read what it says on the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> so nice, it burns twice. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Our tolerance is so high that nothing burns. That's true. Like that anymore. So. It's like we have our own like right. system that just puts out the fire like somewhere in here. And that is here. extremely hot is what the rating is. So it says, it says ghost, right? So, yes. So, so ghost heat. That's hot. Mixed, I with, mean, mixed with vinegar. I'm expecting a three. I'll let you go know. first. I'll get the we'll cap. see. Give it a smell. Okay. Oh, oh taco. Wow. Taco. Oh right? my gosh. Yes. Absolutely taco. That's taco. the first thing I think of. Hold on. What? Wow. Does it, is there? That smells phenomenal. There's no story. There isn't. Shake extremely well. Did you shake this? Yep. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. I Load up. Okay. Let's do this. I'm All ready. All right. All right. I have a feeling this is going to be hotter than we think. I don't. You don't? 
No, I'm expecting Ooh, the color. Though. I'm expecting a three, and I think we're gonna get a two or a one. Ooh, but we the shall color. find out. Let's take a look at that pour consistency. I smell the cocoa. Oh, look at that connection. Mission. the Lord. What? Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Babe, smell it on the spoon. I smell the cocoa. Oh yeah, a little bit there. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Okay, there's heat. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some heat. Oh. That's awesome. That's delicious. That's a taco sauce with heat. That is a hot taco sauce. That is hot. That is a great sauce. I knew it. I knew there was going to be heat for that. I told you. I love that. Oh, there is no. Oh, no. Mexican food all day long. All day. Holy cow. Um, Ooh, but the flavor, though, it is packed with flavor. Ooh, that the went cumin? down warm, too. Yeah, mine's warm right here. So the Ooh. cocoa powder has done something really beautiful to it. Um, mixed with, the, I think, the fact that it's all. It's, it's given it a, powder. a. It's given it a depth, a richness yeah. to it. Yeah, it has. I that is one of the most delicious taco sauces I've ever had. That is and excellent. It's hot. That is great, guys. You guys got to try this stuff if you haven't already. Oh man. You got to get some of this. You know what? We got some cream cheese. Yes, we do. And some crackers. We're going to give it a shot on this stuff. I love cream cheese. I'm going to give you the and This crackers. is the whipped. Yes. So I love cream cheese. I always cheese. feel like it's a waste to buy the whipped. Why? Because you get more when it's solid. Half of that's probably air. Well, I mix some solid in here with it because I actually am not a big fan of the whipped. I'm a, more of a fan of the solid. Oh, you're going straight in. Oh, yeah. Of course I am. So, um, our buddy at Mo Mountain told us to mix this. What are you doing? He over said there? nothing. Okay. Nothing intelligent is going on over <laughs> here. All right. He told us to do it with sour cream. But we didn't have any, and I actually like, I like cream cheese. We did it, better. and like, I really wanted to get in here and do this, and I was too lazy to go to the store, so I apologize. Yeah, but no, but. I like cream cheese better. I eat, I eat tortilla chips and stuff and cream cheese and salsa all the time. <coughs> I taught you that. Yeah. Okay, let me get this off of it here. looks It, it looks, looks horrible. It looks good. It looks absolutely hideous in here. I think the people need to see the- Show the people. <laughs> it looks fine. It looks like a dip. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lick this. I think it might need some more, but I can't go for it. Do resist it. Resist anymore. Here's a cracker for you. Did that do amazing things? Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right off the bat, this would be the ultimate top layer to like a seven layer dip. I would With say you heat. could probably just get a brick of cream cheese mm -hmm. and just set it inside the sauce and then just do that number and oh, you could. mix it up either way. That's great. Oh my gosh. I knew. Mm -hmm. I knew it would be good in cream cheese because I, I can just eat like spoonfuls of cream cheese. I'm that kind of person. Oh, fantastic sauce. Woo! We didn't even talk about, I think. Let's talk about the heat. Yeah. Let's, hold on, I'm going to get one. I'm Let's talk about the out. heat. Oh. As I hit myself in the face. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so good. All right, ready? Three, two, one, three. Four. It hit my three, not a four. That's. I don't think that's a four. Oh, it's close. It's it's close. It's in between, but I think it peaks to a four because, like, honestly, I have this mixed with quite a bit of cream cheese, and I am still on fire. And cream cheese, that's that's dairy. That's It cools it down. And, you know, like, I am on fire. It keeps coming, too. The strange thing about what happened with the heat is it hit really hard and fast. But not like, like this. No, I'm saying within the first, like, ten seconds of eating that, mm -hmm. it was like... It hit hard and it peaked and it yeah. was like right there and now it just stays kind of nice and mellow so i really do enjoy the heat that that is bringing it's it's a great heat it's a good burn it's a good type of burn i love it is. Pepper burn. 
but it, the flavor is phenomenal. This is my favorite. Too. All right, guys, we are going to eat some more of this. We're going to probably finish off what's left in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I will. Because, I mean, that <laughs> is amazing stuff. All right, guys, thanks right. for hanging out with us. We love you guys. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You are what makes this channel, not us. If you weren't watching, we would not be here. That's right. Hope everybody out there has a fantastic day. Don't be afraid to get some heat going on.